great hopes. Um, you want to know what one piece of news that has me exceedingly excited right now? It's one piece of news. <laughs> Why didn't you use proper sun protection? <laughs> it's bad, huh? It's so bad. <laughs> I look like a farmer. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. The one piece of news that has me more excited than anything else. SQ21 is coming back. I'll say it one more time. SQ21 is coming back. Now, for most people in the world, it's like, oh, gee whiz, what's the significance of this, you know? I can, I can say two letters and two numbers, too, and say it's coming back, and that's, uh, that's pretty fucking cool, right? When I told my mother at breakfast, uh, shit, like two days ago, I told her, hey, mom, SQ21 is coming back. You know what she said? She told me that she remembered. She was on the same flight as, uh, what's, I don't know his first name, Forbes. Steve? Not Steve. Jim? I don't know. Anyways, uh, Forbes. It's a, it's a white guy, first name. <laughs> She was on the same flight with him. I said, how, how did you know it was him? Like, when did, it, you, when did it dawn upon you that this guy was on the same flight as you? She said that, well, he had been in the business class one, but nothing really distinctive. It's not like she saw him and instantly recognized him as being Forbes. No, um, as she was like going through customs and what have you, passing, passing through there, there was somebody holding a sign for him. And it wasn't like at the passenger waiting area, like the normal waiting area, but it was just like somewhere deep into the airport. It was somebody like, yeah, Mr. Forbes. She was like, oh, SQ-21 is back. What this means for me though, because I'm gonna take this fucking trip. I don't know if I can do it this quarter. I want to. By God, I want to. But I'm also broke as shit. <laughs> I'm so fucking broke. No, it's it's not even funny how broke I am. <laughs> uh, I, I need to fix this situation. Like, I have to fix this. I'm not here to beg for your money. Uh, it was my buddy William. I, I actually talked about him. I need to polish up what I said earlier. <laughs> It doesn't have to be tonight. I can rest on it. It's raining. You can hear it, huh? The wind, at least, you can hear. What it means for me is I'll be able to go from Houston to Newark, Newark to Singapore, and then hit up China. Because China is the most important. Okay, afterwards, then I can go to Japan, Japan, Hawaii, Hawaii, back to Houston. There's a direct flight from Hawaii to Houston. From Honolulu to Houston, there's a direct flight. Fuck yes. And that'll be the round the world. I'm gonna go from, I'm gonna go east, just east the whole way. I think it can work. I think it qualifies. Singapore's part of Singapore Airlines part of the alliance. Getting the points, that's gonna be a, a bit of a challenge. But um Yeah, I've got I've got my work cut out for me. <laughs> really do. You know, but I have the goal. I know I, I gotta make this happen. Because if I fail to make it happen, like if I just never make this trip into reality, <laughs> you know how much of a letdown it would be? Not just for not for you. But for me personally, it would be like, fuck, that's one of the things that was killing me. 
it was absolutely, it was tearing me apart. I was thinking, thinking to myself, man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this trip in time. Because every single day is a day closer to, to somebody's death. Well, least of all my own. I'm probably going to be around for a good while. But the old guard, they're, they're old. That's just what they are. They can't help it. My grandmother in Hawaii, she can't walk around the place without help. She can't see what's shit. She can barely hear. <laughs> gonna do this. I was at first thinking I was gonna mow the lawn. All right, so uh, enough about all that. Here, where's, where's this thing at? Uh, what's the uptime? Time finished.